Hello there, David here again for a brief market and economic update. Now I love to talk as you probably know by now, so let's see how I do with the brief part, okay? Now quick recap, 2018 was the worst year for the major market indices in a decade. The MSCI World Index was down, for example, 8.7%. Now, balanced and diversified portfolios should have been down a little less because of holding some fixed income and other asset classes, right? Now, we only had a few panic calls around the holidays, and anytime we get these types of calls from clients, we recommend staying put and not getting caught up in the market sell-offs and the trading drama. And then, as you know, the market recovered very quickly earlier this year, and here recently hit all-time new highs. Now, a couple of quick fun, fun, that's debatable, I know, but fun facts, at least for me, the S&P 500 was only 4% above where it sat as of January of 2018. December of 18 was the worst since 1929. Yikes, anytime we compare something to the depression time frame, that could be scary. January of 19 was the best since 87. May of 19 was the worst since the 1970s. And June of 2019 was the best month since 1958. So what now? Now, predictions of a recession in the next 12 to 18 months are increasing, but of course we know that doesn't mean it will happen. I believe there's gonna be a pullback in that time frame, but I'm not convinced it's gonna be as deep of a recession anywhere close to 2008. Now, the good news is that companies are still growing, although as I believed earlier this year, growth is slowing, but it's not stalling, big difference. The fundamentals remain strong with a few caution signals starting to emerge. The election next year and the soap opera that we're gonna be blessed with to watch on every network channel will likely be a big factor on the timing of the next recession. So will Trump stay in office and continue with the pro-business policies that could keep this bull running? And if so, will he remain stable and calm, lower his Twitter post and keep the rest of the world happy? I'll digress there. Or are we gonna get a Democratic president and will this person increase regulations and cause business owners to pull back and therefore slow growth down? Or will they be more of a centrist and excite the markets and economy? All this TBD, right? But these things, along with Trump working on various trade deals and the Fed looking at rate reductions versus the increases last year, are already being priced into this record level market, in my opinion. So our investment committee continues to make small shifts to quality stocks over high growth in this late stage of the bull market and revisiting our fixed income holdings to identify the best rates we can get without taking unnecessary risk for our clients. So as always, I'll say this, turn off the TV, unless it's a good show that's not economy related, and spend time with your loved ones and focus on experiences and memories over the things that you can't control. We love what we do and my entire team is always here to help.